kung magigang mamatay O oh, alam ko ang sekreto kaya tang dito pa't buhay O oh, sabi nila may anting-anting ako Pero di nila alam na Diyos ang dahilan ko Oh, Pinoy ako Okay. 
Good afternoon. It's Saturday, March 13, 2021. And again, I would like to welcome everyone for another episode, of course, brought to you by OneFiset.ph. This is what we call Sports Series Webinar. And of course, I know isang linggo na naman ang nagdaan and I believe maraming mga experience ang ating mga PE teachers or even yung mga hindi natin mga PE teachers or mga future PE teachers natin uh, for, sa nagdaang uh, linggo. Marami na naman mga experience regarding sa teaching, regarding sa pag-aaral. And I hope that nandito po kayo ngayon, ngayong Sabado kasama of course ang inyong host si Coach J.R. Beterbo upang pakinggan at makisa, sumama at makinig dito sa isa na namang sport na ating ifi-feature na very promising because I believe no, this is an opportunity na pwede nating i-offer ta- at tayo mga teachers sa ating mga estudyante. And bago tayo magsimula, of course, gusto ko lang uh, batiin lahat ng mga nanunood sa atin. Kasama natin ngayong hapon na to via YouTube Live. We have almost 90 individuals watching via YouTube Live dito sa aking another device. And batiin lang natin, marami tayong mga participants Coming from different parts of the country, meron po tayo. Magandang hapon, Miss Samjang. Lagi itong nakikinig sa atin, no? Uh, 
Ms. Leslie P. Julieto from University of Southeastern Philippines. Meron din po tayong mga kasama, of course, no? From La Salsobel, from Cavite State University, Mr. Warren Rodil. Meron din tayo from, uh, from Arellano University, Juan Sumulong Campos, si Eugene Mikhail. And of course, sa iba't ibang panig pa ng ating bansa, ngayon po ay marami tayong kasama. And again, kung ikaw ay nandyan sa YouTube Live, maaari mo bang i-share ang ating episode for this afternoon para itong simpleng bagay na gagawin mo ay makatulong din sa ibang mga individual upang malaman nila ang ating i-feature para sa hapon na ito. Tunay nga na, na tayo ay laging pinagpapala dito sa oneficed.ph sapagkat sa nagdaang kalahating taon, more than a year, no? hindi po tayo basta-basta nababakante dahil maraming mga organizations, maraming mga coaches, individuals na patuloy na uh, nagsisay yes sa ating mga request upang may maibahagi sila sa ating community ng mga PE teachers. And para sa hapon na to, bago po tayo magsimula, nais ko lamang pong bigyan ng mga ilang uh, anunsyo or mga announcement para sa mga maaari pa pong mga mangyari na mga activities or events sa mga darating na linggo. Number one, I would like to promote itong garating na sweep conference brought to you by, of course, by the Sports Management Council of the Philippines. Ito po ay mangyayari uh, uh, sa March 24 to 26. So, iniimbitahan ko po kayo to please kindly like and uh, follow Sports Management Council of the Philippines para po makita nyo ang full details ng kanilang programa. And uh, of course, ang inyo pong lingkod ay magiging speaker din po sa darating na conference na to. And another, of course, ating mga PE teachers, no? Sino naman po ang hindi nakakaalam ng Connected PE? Next week, no? Not this Monday, but March 22, 21, there will be an international conference brought to you by Connected PE by a friend of mine, Jared Robinson from Australia. And of course, ito po isang opportunity rin para makakuha tayo mga kapwa huguro, mga PE teachers na mga additional knowledge and skills na pwede natin gamitin sa ating pagtuturan. Again, nandun din po ako. Magiging speaker din po tayo sa conference nyo. Kaya po, inaanyayahan ko kayo na maging bahagi nitong isang international conference brought to you by Connected PE. And of course, yun na-mention natin kanina, yung sweep. Hindi ko na po papatagalin sapagkat alam ko, even I myself, together with the team of OneFeced.com, PH, we are excited as we are about to explore another sport that we Filipinos can be engaged. Why we Filipinos? Dahil tayo po, yung mga hindi man po lahat guro ang nanunood sa atin this afternoon. I believe na tayo po mga teachers, PE teachers, coaches, yung influence natin to uh, uh, our influence sa mga estudyante natin ay malaki. That's why if we are gonna explore this sport, possible na ma-engage natin sila. So this afternoon, we are so blessed because we have the Philippine Corfball Federation. And of course, they will be sharing to us some of the uh, basic ideas, no? some of the basic rules of the sport we call floorball. Kaya nga ang title ng apting episode this afternoon ay Spread Corfball Around the Globe. Dahil ito po ang advokasya ng PKF to spread to everyone itong sport na uh, corfball. Now, um, gusto ko pong i-introduce dahil after po introduce tuloy-tuloy na po ang kanilang pag-share ng sport na uh, corfball. First, let me introduce no, uh, ang ating mga manaim, uh, speaker for this afternoon. First, We have the Assistant Professor Rodrigo Sambuang Jr. He's the President of Philippine Corfball Federation. And, uh, we also have Assistant Professor Felix Michael Silbor, PKF's Executive Secretary, Assistant Professor Robinson Laksa, Head Coach Corfball National Team, Ms. Paula Carmina Cruz Cervantes, External Secretary of Philippine Corfball Federation, Ms. Priscilla Cedillo Rubio, Program Director, Philippine Corfball Federation. And of course, aside sa ating mga as a board members ng Philippine Corfball Federation, we are also blessed to have Corfball National Team members. Ilan po sa kanila ay magiging uh, kabahagi natin. Uh, we have Elijah Gabriel Rebusquillo, Bridget Ann Soriano, Team Captain, and Miss Chadeline May Ebreo. Alright, sa hapong ito, tayo po, nasa YouTube man kayo, nandito man sa Zoom, bigyan natin ng masiba, masigabong palakpakan ng ating mga panauhin sa hapon na ito. Let's all welcome uh, the members, and uh, the board members and the national team of the Philipp, uh, uh, 
Philippine Corfball Federation. Magandang hapon, Professor Rodrigo. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon uh, Physic Ed team and uh, viewers. Thank you for uh, giving us an opportunity to be your uh, guest here this afternoon dito po sa Physic Ed Education. Uh, uh, we will start with uh, Sir Mike for the uh, background of the PKF. Sir Mike. Hey, good afternoon to all viewers of One Piece Head. Thank you, Sir JR, for having us here. So I'll first uh, share my screen with you on the history of golf ball in the country. Okay. We start. I am start. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, uh, Philippine Corfball Federation, wait lang po, wait lang po, ah. wait lang po. Something went wrong with my slide. Sir Rod, sandali muna, Sir Rod. Sir JR, please, ano muna, please. Something went wrong with my slide. Nakarelly na siya kanina. I'm sorry po sa everybody. Okay, okay, sir. okay, okay. All right. Doon na po siya. Yeah, okay. Okay, so curveball in the country, in the Philippines. It's all started in 2006. Uh, punta kami sa Hong Kong. We were invited by the Hong Kong China Curveball Federation to attend a curveball workshop for sports leaders of Asian universities. Uh, seven of us went there. It was held in Hong Kong UST and facilitated by Mr. Warman Cheng. And this picture of seven of us in white and the those in black are the facilitators and organizers. The picture of all the participants. Mr. Warman Cheng, a pioneer in golf ball, uh, doing the honors of teaching us. And in 2007-2014, UST conducted similar workshop uh, for uh, sports leaders in Philippine universities. And it was attended by Department of Education officials, PE teachers, major students all over the country. It was uh, facilitated by Mr. Warman Cheng. We invited him to do the seminar. This was in 2007 with Mr. Warman Cheng getting the certificate. And this is this is a picture of, of all the participants of that workshop. And this is Mr. Warman Cheng on the 2014 workshop held in our university, all of the participants. And uh, People in white are members of the Hong Kong China Corfball team who helped uh, with the seminar, with the workshop. And uh, 2000, um, Corfball has been part of the service physical education curriculum of the university. And we have here uh, one class under Coach Myra, another class under Sir Rod. And we started in 2011, we started our own Corfball seminars without the help of the IKF Asia and Hong Kong China Corfball Federation. And we left seven, naka seven na kami. we went to Cavite, we went to Sambuanga for those seminars. So almost every year, we kami. Ang last namin was before the lockdown, February 2020, sa PNU. And this is a picture of the seminar in PUP. This was also held in PUP. This is in Cavite State University, uh, Silang Campus. And Cubs also. This is in Sambuanga. Uh, the, the guys in yellow, they are members of the Philippine Corfball team helping us with the workshop. And we donated Corfball equipment to the president of the school in Sambuanga. And it uh, improvised Corf. Because they did not have the standard corp, so they made it out of a metal drum and they raised it to the standard height of a corp ball. So, ano nag improvise sila. Then, this is the one in uh, no, and Diocese of the Valiches. Actually, it's not um, for PE teachers. We are invited by the Diocese of the Valiches to help their youth. We program sila there for the youth. Uh, so, we went there to teach corp ball. It's also in the Baliches. Then this is in TUP, Manila. TUP again. Also in TUP, in Dami participants. 
Then this one is in Basilan. Actually, in Basilan, we did not go there personally. We were uh, uh, the guys in Zamboanga where we had the seminar in 2016. They asked our permission if they can conduct a seminar in Basilan. And we gave them the go signal. That's why this tournament in Basilan was organized. And if you notice, ang goal nila dun sa likod, ring lang basketball yon. So they improvised also and raised the ring to the standard height of a court. Okay, this is in Basilan. And the lady in red, uh, he went to our seminar in 2007-2014 and she was the one responsible for inviting us to Sambuanga for the seminar. And she was also responsible for the tournament in Basilan. Now, this is our last uh, seminar in PNU, uh, yes, PNU. Okay. In 2014, it's a milestone year actually for Philippine Corfball because on January 16 of that year, the Philippine Corfball Federation was officially born with 77 executive officers, 10 board of directors, and 14 regional representatives. In August of that year, we went to Hong Kong. Some of officers of PKF went to Hong Kong as observers because there was a league there, Asia Oceanian Corfball Championship. And in that tournament, we officially submitted the bylaws, constitutional bylaws of PKF to the president of IKF Asia. In that tournament also was the president of IKF, Dr. Jan Fransu. And on September 13 of that year, Philippine Corfball Federation became the 61st member of the International Corfball Federation. So these are the officers elected in 2014 seminar. This is the logo of PKF and IKF. And this is Professor I English Wang of Taiwan. He is the president of IKF Asia. This is Dr. John Fan Su, president of IKF. Uh, that this this is in Hong Kong, this Hong Kong tournament. And after the tournament in Hong Kong, uh, the Philippines started to participate in its per first tournament. It was in Taiwan, the fifth Asia Oceania Corfball Championship. And every year thereafter, we participated in more corfball tournaments. So until November 2019, where the team went to Netherlands to take part in the International Shell Tech Championship. And members of the team were faculty members, students, and alumni. Then this is a picture of the team that went to Taiwan with the president of IKF. Uh, actually, in this tournament, uh, two of our players received individual awards. This is the team in Hong Kong, first tournament in Hong Kong, second tournament in Hong Kong. This one is in Japan, IKF Asia Oceania Corfball Championship. This is the team warming up before the tournament. And this uh, grab from a newspaper article in Netherlands announcing the arrival of the Philippine team to their corfball tournament. This is the team at the airport. And we had, we had IKF guests uh, in 2015. Edwin Bauman actually came to the Philippines to help the coaches train the team that will take part in its first tournament in Taiwan. So he was sent by IKF to us to, to help uh, to assist in the training of the team. 2017, Tilbert Lahey, the CEO of uh, IKF, went to the country on a vacation. It's unofficial yon, so on his own. Yon. And he gave him a tour of the university. So this is this Mr. Edwin Bauman with the coaches. And this is Mr. Tilbert Lahey in front of the UST main building. And other milestones. In 2015, uh, two of us were appointed to different policy making committees in IKF Asia. 2016 we received uh, corfball equipment from IKF and in 2019 we or the PAUS in, in organized its first tournament to raise funds for the PKF. In 2019 there was a meeting uh, of uh, APEC workshop. This is this meeting is uh, it's a showcase of all uh, innovation in sports training and sports equipment. And highlight of that was the friendly match between corfball teams of Taiwan and the Philippines. So it, this is the Congress where two of us were appointed to policymaking body of IKF Asia. And this is the nation of Corf from IKF, you see by the officers. And this is the tournament we conducted in UST, the tournament, part of the tournament. And these are the delegates to the sixth ASPN meeting, the APEC workshop.
And this is the highlight of that meeting, a friendly match between Taiwan and the Philippines in korfball held at the Philippines uh, Field Sports Arena. And we got another donation from Taiwan, Corf. And this is a picture of all the delegates of that uh, friendly match. And these are our challenges actually, uh, mostly financial, to pay for our membership dues to the K IKF. We pay that every year in Euro to organize regular korfball tournaments, promotion of korfball around the country, to put up a competitive national team and to fund teams that will play in international tournaments. Uh, you might wonder, paano kami nakapunta sa abroad for the tournaments? Uh, it is coming from our own pocket. Then we also uh, wish that we can be uh, recognized an NSA by the POC and the PSC. And these are our proposals, reference scores, to create tournament open to all ages, and to send coaches to train abroad because we need more teams, better teams. And thank you so much for listening. Okay, thanks so much, sir. They are all right. Thank you, sir Felix, uh, for the sharing. Um, sir Rodrigo, who will be the Good afternoon again, everybody. Uh, before I proceed with the uh, uh, lecture, uh, I would like to introduce myself. I am Assistant Professor Rodrigo Isambang Jr., currently the President of the uh, Philippine Corporal Federation and the Athletics Moderator of University of Santa Tomas. Now, before we go on, before we discuss the uh, rules and background and rules of corpball, no, let me uh, present first uh, a video, no, a video of simple rules of corpball. Okay, I will share it now. See this, uh, sir? The rules of corpball. Yes, sir, we can see it. You may just uh, yeah. full screen. Full screen. And to score these goals, you must shoot the ball into the court, which is a basket with no net. Yeah. Okay, no Unlike back. basketball, however, there must be four females there you go, sir. and four males yeah. in the court for your team at any one time, making this one of the few mixed gender sports in the world. Hang on a minute. This is just basketball, right? Not quite. Whilst court ball is sometimes seen as a mixture of basketball and netball, it's a completely different game with completely different rules. Firstly, there are two zones, an attacking zone and a defending zone, and two players of each gender must stay in each zone. The court is 40 meters long and 20 meters wide, and the zones are 20 meters by 20 meters. The courts are located 6.67 meters away from the outline and are three and a half meters above the ground. There are two two and a half meter circles that denote the post area and the penalty spot area. More on this later. Secondly, once two goals have been scored, the zones change, meaning that the attackers are now the defenders and vice versa. This means that all players, male and female, get a chance to defend an attack, making this a role equality sport as well. Thirdly, you can only mark one person, and it has to be a person of the same gender. So a male cannot try and guard a female, and you cannot have two defenders guarding you at any one time. In court ball, movement of the ball has to be quick, as once you are defended, you can no longer shoot the ball. These are the four requirements of being defended, and once you are defended, you can only pass to a teammate. You cannot shoot the ball. You'll see a lot of pre-prepared passing sequences in order to free up a shooter to take a clean shot. This is the essence of the game. Players are not allowed to run with the ball. Once a player has received the ball, the foot that the player lands on first is known as the landing foot. They cannot lift this foot off the ground, but may pivot on it whilst moving the other leg. Should a player lift the landing leg and put it back down, this is known as travelling and the ball is awarded to the other team. The opponents will try and take the ball away from you by intercepting passes, shots, retrieving loose balls, and defending the shooters. However, an opposing player cannot touch another player, known as contact, and must be defending one player who is of the same gender. There's also a lot of things you can't do in court ball, some of which we've discussed already, but here's some of the things you cannot do. The game is played in two 30-minute halves for a combined playing time of 60 minutes. Highest score at the end of time wins. If you're a little confused, don't worry about it, as you'll pick this up easily. But there's just a few things you'll need to know before playing or watching a game. For example, free pass. 
after a foul, a free pass may be awarded. This is taken from the penalty spot, and all other players must be two and a half metres away outside the penalty spot circle. The player cannot shoot, so must quickly pass the ball to a teammate as there is a four second time limit. Penalty. For serious fouls, or players that are denied a clear scoring opportunity, a penalty shot may be awarded. They get to shoot the ball from the penalty spot unopposed, and players must be outside both the post circle and the penalty spot circle until the ball has left the player's hands. Timeout. To take a break or discuss strategy, each team is allowed a timeout. This usually lasts 60 seconds, and the amount of timeouts permitted vary depending on the league you're playing in. Substitution. You're allowed to change players four times in a game of court ball. Players must be of the same gender and must be made in a stoppage of play. Throw off. To start the game or to restart the game, a throw off is used. The team with the ball must pass to a teammate. Out ball. If the ball leaves the sides of the area of play, the team who did not touch it last is awarded the ball and must pass to a teammate from the sidelines. Court ball is very popular in Europe, and as you watch or play court ball, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is very much appreciated. Right. Be sure to follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy court ball. Okay. Thank you for watching. Now, uh, uh, just to remind you, viewers, po, uh, some of the rules here uh, no, na, na, na changed. Na po. We have the updated rules. Baka po kayo. Uh, uh, from this uh, theoretical side na I will discuss for today, there are some changes po na rules. Na? So, to start with, All right, let's wait for, uh, do you see this, uh, Sir JR? Yes, we can see uh, full screen na lang, sir. Full screen, wait yeah. lang po ah, uh, medyo, uh, balik lang po ako. Uh, uh, wait for a while, screen. A uh, full screen. Ano ka siya full screen? Slideshow. Slideshow. Okay. Ah. Thank you for uh, slideshow. slideshow. From the yeah, beginning. beginning. From yeah, the beginning. Yeah. From the beginning. See this? Yeah, we can see it All now. Right. Uh, let's begin with the uh, uh, background of court ball. Now, court ball is a team sports now played by hand within a rectangular field of play uh, by two mixed team. Try to shoot on a ball into the court of the opposite team. Actually, um, court ball is uh, inspired, inspired on ring ball. Okay, don't push up in what's a ring ball. And then uh, there are uh, there are eight eight players on each team playing on each zone. So apat na babae, apat na lalaki. Now the sports main characteristic encompasses all round skills. Cooperative play, control, physical contact, gender equality, players' right to protect, ball possession, and scoring from 360 around the court. If it's a behind, you can take the shot in front, side, and at the back. And then, uh, court, ball, court ball is a gentleman's game. Ito yung ina ano nila, pino promote nila. Angat maare, ang contact po nito ng court ball po ay zero. Angat maare, bawal ang contact. Now, what can we find in the playing field? We have the playing area. Now, the playing area consists of the border area, the bench area, the substitution spots, and the jury table. You can see this on the uh, diagram. Ito po yan. Nasa diagram one. Okay? Uh, the bench. This is the bench, the substitution spot, the jury table. Now, here, sa jury table, uh, nandun na rin po yung, nandun na rin po nakaupo yung mga scorer. Na? or yung organizers. Now, the field of play measures 40 meters by 20 meters divided 
into two equal zones by a center line parallel to the ends of the uh, field. So if you imagine how big it is, uh, it measures the one and a half size of the basketball court. Ganun po siya kalaki. Ganun po siya kalaki. One and a half size of the basketball court. Now, with a pre-height of seven meters above the floor. Okay. Now, the boundary lines, we have the end line, the side lines, and the center lines. So we have the, uh, also we have the penalty spot, uh, mark in front of each post, and then the penalty area. This is the penalty area. Now, where penalty shot happens here. Now, here in penalty area, ito po, ito po yung buo. Ito po yung buong penalty area. Now, this is the corp, this is the corp, and this is the uh, penalty mark where a penalty shot happens. Ayan po yan. Now, the bigger, ano lang, bigger photo lang, uh, the penalty area. Now, the pre-pass area. Now, uh, this is a circle, no? Uh, dito po nangyayari yung pre-pass uh, pre uh, shot. Nandyan po yung mga, mga players, defenders and players na, na nag-stay, no? During the pre-pass. And then, and then yung magpitake ng pre-pass, he stay here in front of the post, no? Now, this is the solid color. Tignan nyo po, iba po yung uh, pre-pass area sa, uh, sa, pre, sa penalty area. Okay? Pag pre-pass po kasi, merong ano yan, nandito po yung mga players on one zone. On the other, uh, yung penalty uh, penalty shot po, wala pong mga players na nakapwesto doon. Nasa labas po lahat ng penalty area. Now, we have the border area, which is one meter one meter and surrounds uh, the field of play. Ito po yung mga borderline, no? Parang pre-zone na tinatawag. Pre-zone na tinatawag niyan. So, one meter niyan. So, we have uh, after the pre-zone, no? Yung one meter, nandun po yung bench area, the substitution spot, nandyan pa. And then, uh, <clears throat> the post, no? Uh, the post uh, picks perpendicularly in the ground in both zones, no? Uh, as you can see, <clears throat> Makikita nyo kanina doon sa video, ang post po naka, naka uh, what do you call this, nakapix sa ground ng floor sa international. Pero uh, at the university, ito po ang ano namin, ang ginagawa namin, uh, the post may be fixed to simply with a heavy large metal base. Meron po siyang base sa ilalim kasi hindi namin mapix mismo yung pinakaposte niya doon sa cemento, sa corp. So we'll see. Now, this is the base. Ito po yung base niya. And this is the uh, post. With the measurement, ayan po, uh, uh, yung standard po kasi, this is for uh, elementary, yung 2.5, yung 3 meters for for the high school and for the uh, uh, college and uh, yung mga professional, 3.5 meters or exactly uh, mga 12 feet po, ganun po yung kataas. So it means... Uh, the corp itself is higher than the basketball ring. Mas mataas siya. Now, the corp no, is made of synthetic uh, corp materials. Uh, meron po kaming ginagamit din at the start ng um, nag-start po ang corp ball sa university, gumamit po kami ng uh, rattan. No? Rattan, ginamit po namin yan. And then, this is the uh, dimensions. No? Kung maggagawa uh, po kayo, Kung meron po kayong rattan, ito po yung dimensions na pwede nating sundin, na pwede nyo pong sundin with the use of the rattan. Pwede po yung gamitin in case na no, mag-start pa lang po ang inyong corp ball. Now, this is the official corp na ginagamit sa international. Again, it's made of plastic. Ayan po yan. Uh, IKF po. IKF is still uh, uh, giving a corp. No? Depende po dun sa inyong pangangailan. Kung sakali, na kailanganin natin, pwede po tayong mag-request ng corporate basket, official. No? Now, uh, we have three kinds of ball. No? We have three kinds of size of ball. Pero usually, ang ginagamit po, ito, this is the round five. No? Round number five ball. Ito po yung ginagamit sa international. Now, we also use this uh, university. Pero uh, yung, kumbaga, uh, hindi naman dun siya ganun ka ang original niya. Pero... Uh, class A po yung ginagamit namin sa university with the size 5. No? Same input ball. Same input ball po ito. 
itong size niya. So, the other sizes, we have size 4 and size 3 for the lower level po, yung elementary and high school team. Now, uh, we have the uh, equipment. So, we have, can find this on the uh, court, no? Outside the court, we have the outside border area. We have the time clock. You know, we have the shot clock. You can find it, no? And then scoreboard. Ito, this equipment, this equipment, you can this, uh, if you have your, if you have the budget, no? During your tournament, kung maglalagay kayo, pwede nyo pong gawin yan. Pwede nyo kuwanin lahat, no? Pwede nyo i-provide. Pero kung wala, okay lang po. Importante, you have the uh, timer lang, kahit yung sa stopwatch lang. Pero this is, uh, equipment is used by the uh, international tournaments. Ayan po yung makikita nyo. So what else? Now the players, no? So the deep, uh, the players of each team must dress in numbered matching sports outfit that is sufficiently different from that of the other team. So meron pong tinatawag na uh, 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 dark and white color po, no? Kailangan, uh, ano sila, magkakaiba ng, magkaiba ng kulay. Hindi po pwedeng parehas kasi mahirap ang ano, mahirap ang mong magkaroon ng decision doon. Kung baga, naka, masakit ang mata. So opposite ang color nila. So you must, uh, you must use appropriate sportswear. Uh, do not wear objects that might be co considered dangerous. No? Yung mga sing-sing, mga bracelet po, bawal po yan, earrings yan. Pero hanggat maaari kung, kung ano naman siya, matitape, matitape, pwede naman pong isuot pa rin. Basta nakatape, no? At hindi, uh, hindi magkakaroon ng uh, problema during the game. Now, the substitute players po is uh, maximum of six, no? Now, yung six, play, yung six players na yun, you can, um, you can uh, start sa the, the submission, you can, uh, you can use them sa first stop, kung gusto nyo yung Tapusin, no? Gusto nyo ubusin on the first half, okay lang. Now, on the second half, pwede rin naman po. Pero once, no? Once na nagamit nyo na po yung six, uh, maximum six uh, substitute, hindi na po yan po pwede nga, no? I-gamitin ulit. Hanggang anim lang po. I substitutes, no? So, the team captain wears uh, a clearly visible band or tape, the upper part of the arm, or in the sleeveless shirt on the top, of one shoulder. So there is one captain, no? and then we have one coach and assistant coach. Uh, we must sit on the bench allocated uh, to the team. You know, he has lived in his place on a bench in a manner that we will not disturb other and wills remaining outside the field of play in order to. No? Uh, you see, dito kasi medyo different ang ano, coaching style ng ano, coaching rules sa uh, court ball. Uh, you, can, you can stand and go to the other side. Pero dapat hindi ka mag-interfere doon sa <clears throat> kanilang uh, other coach, syempre. At saka doon sa play. Yung ongoing play, hindi ka dapat, hindi ka, hindi ka mag, uh, mag interfere sa ginagawa nila. Okay? Now, uh, there is one assistant coach at the same time, no? He takes on the task of the coach only when the coach is no longer in presence. No? At any given time during the match, only one coach is permitted to leave the bench. Hindi po pwedeng sabay, no? Hindi po pwedeng sa basketball kasi uh po pwede kayong tumayo eh, minsan sabay sila. Here in court ball po, bawal po ang sabay. So one at a time. Si coach pwede po tumayo, uh, maglakad po doon papunta sa other side, no? Again, doon sa other side po ng bench, pwede po 'yun, nangyayari po 'yun eh. Pero again, dapat hindi po siya mag-i-interfere doon sa kabilang team. Okay? Now, uh, other persons attached to the team, uh, there are four, no, in addition to the coach, nandyan po yung uh, medical staff, nandyan po yung, uh, what do you call this, minsan may manager po na, na nakaupo doon, basta apat po sila, so coach, assistant coach, uh, medical staff, and managers, no, can sit on the team bench. Now, we have one referee, no, we have one referee to control the game, and his and is alone. And then assisted by the assistant referee. Usually, ang assistant referee dito, uh, same in football po. Same in football. Na merong hawak na plug, no? May hawak po na plug to direct kung kaninong, ano, kung mag, saan mag-restart 
and direction of the uh, court. And now the jury, you know, and then the jury assists the referee in controlling the match protocols, rules, and regulations. Kasi minsan medyo, uh, medyo may mabibigat na decisions dyan, and the jury comes in. What is the final uh, decision? Okay, na pwede siya mag-interfere. Now that we have the timekeeper here, uh, responsible for the playing time and operates the time clock, and the shot clock operator, responsible for controlling the 25 seconds seconds time limit in the attack zone. So if you have the ball, uh, you have 25 seconds. Now you have 20 seconds, 25 seconds to take the shot. Otherwise, no, within 25 seconds, hindi nyo po na release o wala nangyari, automatic po yun, restart. No? sa kabila ang bola to the opponent's ball. Then we have the scorekeeper, syempre, responsible for the game and score and operates the scoreboard and operates the scoreboard. Now the game. Uh, for each team, no, there are four men and four women uh, are declared in the starting team. O poem two, each gender are placed on each zone. The other players are listed as substitute. Okay. Uh, on each team, again, on each team, you have eight players. Doon sa apat na, sa walong players po, meron pong apat na babae, uh, apat na lalaki. Now, they are placed, there are placed on each zone. Dalawang lalaki, dalawang babae, for the defense, and on the other side, the offense. Ganon din po. Merong dalawang lalaki at dalawang babae on another zone. Kasi, again, court ball, court, is divided into two zones. Attacking zone and the defense zone. Okay, para clear po. So again, there are eight. No? There are eight starting players. Now, the playing time. Playing time is two halves of 25 minutes. This is the new rule. No, This is the new rule po. Uh, now, uh, on the uh, IKF World Championship this uh, 2019, uh, ginawa po sa Dern Durnham, uh, Meron po silang modified, no? Meron silang modified rules here, no? Na, uh, four halves, no? Uh, what do you call this? Four periods. Four periods of, uh, four periods of 10 minutes. Okay? Yun po yung in ng uh, tournament organizer. So it, it will depend, no? It will depend doon sa organizer kung ano yung pwede nilang gamitin. Pero officially, again, officially, uh, the playing time of court ball is two halves of 25 minutes with equal periods no, by a technical timeout and one minute break. Okay, now, what is the golden goal? Now, golden goal, after the match, after the match, there is a draw. All, not all. So what will happen here? Now, golden goal means uh, you have 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes. Whoever... Uh, take the first shot, the first goal here, in the golden goal, within 10 minutes. Ah, kung sino una nakashoot, wins the match. Okay, ganoon po pag uh, nagkakaroon ng draw. Golden goal ang tawag. Now, if there is another draw after the golden goal, what will happen? Nagkakaroon po ng penalty shootout. Or penalty shootout takes place. So, at paano po nangyayari ang penalty shootout? It's same in football. It's same in football. Uh, they will stay on the center. Uh, so, eight po ito. Eight po. Eight on both teams, di ba? mag alternate silang mag-take ng penalty shot. Now, after eight shots, whoever we, uh, gets the highest score in this eight shot wins the match. Okay? That is the penalty shootout. And golden goal. Now, uh, the start of the game. The start of the game uh, start with a throw off, with a toss coin. Whoever wins the uh, toss coin, uh, usually yan, a attack eh. the, the attack team, no? they will get the attack, syempre, to get a score immediately. And then after uh, after first tap, no? they will change ends. They will change ends. So when they change ends, ano po nangyayari? Okay, ano po nangyayari? Uh, away, away will start on the second half. Away team starts the ball with the second half. Okay, away team starts with uh, the ball on the second half. But 
uh, every two baskets, no? Every two baskets during the game, after two baskets, they will change position. Magchi-change po to, magpapalitan. So, one all, two zero, uh, four zero. But so every two baskets, they will change, no? They will change position. Now, now if you're on the uh, attacking side, paglipat mo after two baskets, pagiging defender ka na. Now, pag defender ka na, paglipat mo sa kabila, you will be the attacker. Ganun po. Every two baskets. Now, goal. A goal is scored when the ball has, from the above, no? from the above, completely passed through the court. Uh, hindi po po pwedeng galing sa ilalim. Galing sa ilalim yung bola. No, it is, it is, not, it is not violation, pero uh, it is not counted. Okay? So, ano naman siya? What do you call this? Um, unintentional naman. Usually kasi sa PE. Meron kaming, meron kaming mga ganong cases eh. Sa ilalim pumapasok. Sir, paano yan? No, no. I know. Not, this is not counted. No? You continue the game. You continue the game. So again, the goal must be above. No? Above from the uh, court or the basket. Now here, every goal adds one point. One point lang po. Walang two points po dito. Kahit malayo yung shoot mo, malapit ang shoot mo, nag-penalty shot ka, nag-pre-pass ka, one point lang po yan. Every basket is equivalent to one point. Now, again, sabi ko kanya, zone change and zone uh, change of ends. No, After each goal, dalawa po, we will change positions. No, They will change positions. Attackers become defenders and defenders become attacker. Okay, how about the throw-off? Now, the throw-off starts when, no? Uh, at the start of the game, throw up. After the basket, throw up. Saan po nangyayari yung throw up? Doon sa center line. Doon po sa center line. Inside, no? Inside, ha? doon sa zone. Hindi doon, na, hindi doon sa kabila. Nasa loob na lang zone yan. Mga, mga two meters from the center line. Doon po tatayo yung mag, uh, mag, mag start ng throw up. Okay. Now, time out. You have one minute. One minute time out. No? And then per match, again, you have two timeouts. If you want to use your two timeouts on the first half, no? okay. Nasa inyo yan. Kung gusto yung tapusin na. Okay? Pero again, you have two timeouts per sa match. No? Sa buong match na po ito. Two timeouts. Substitution, this is the uh, new rule. Dati po yan kasi naging uh, eight po yan dati. Now, for the new rule, naging six substitution po. Now, for the treatment of injured players, they are given one minute, no? One minute rest. Now, kung kaya, uh, after one minute, pwede naman po mag-play again. Now, kung hindi talaga kaya, considered sub na po yan. Inilalabas na po yan. Depends upon the, uh, uh, they call this, the uh, check of the uh, medical doctors nila, ano? O yung PT nila, depende. Depende sa ob, ano niya, observation niya. Now, what else? No? This is the uh, infringement of the rules, which will be discussed also by Mr. Laksa after my uh, uh, presentation. Now, th this is the basic. No? This is the basic. To run with the ball. So, bawal pong itakbo. Bawal pong itakbo ang, plo, ang bola. When you're holding the ball, bawal mong ilakad. Now, if you have the ball, if you have the ball, you can do, kasi magra-running in ka eh. You can do the running in, no? Pag nag-running in ka, pwede po, two steps. Pero if you're holding the ball, you cannot make another steps, bawal po yan. Okay? Bawal itakbo. Bawal pong itakbo ang bola. Now, to solo play. Now, uh, whenever a player intentionally plays the ball, avoiding cooperation with the teammate and the following two conditions are met. Simply, uh, ganito lang. Uh, let's say uh, I'm having the ball pinasa ko pinasa ko sa uh, nakatalikod yung teammate ko binato ko sa likod niya and then I'll get the ball again and then take the shot that is uh, violation that is all play bawal po yan dito uh, another thing when you take the shot no? when you take the shot and then you go for the rebound and then tinis, sinut mo na naman that is considered solo play violation po yan 6.3 to shoot from a dependent position. Now, if you're dependent here, what will you do? 
You just pass the ball. You just pass the ball. Now, when you do the defense, um, ang kailangan lang naman po kasi you block, you block the uh, trajectory of the ball. Okay? Yun lang po ang ba-block nyo. Bawal pong i-block ang katawan ng, ano, ng attacker. You just uh, block the uh, position, the trajectory of the ball. Pero again, if you're depended, you cannot take the shot right away. You just pass the ball immediately. You pass. Now, uh, to shoot after cutting past one another. Uh, this is an uh, example of screening. Bawal po rito ang screening sa court ball. Okay? So, bawal na bawal po yan. Kailangan, if, there, if there's a space no, na makakapag-running in, kailangan i-let go nyo. Hindi po pwedeng harangin po yun. Especially, uh, you're depending the opposite sex. Bawal po kasi yung depensahan yung opposite sex. So, men, men, women, women. Now, to hand the ball to the another player or teammate. Usually, when there must be a release, no? There must be a release. Hindi po pwedeng hand off, hawakan, ibigay nyo agad. There must be or first move freely through the air or it was free on the ground. Hindi po pwedeng galing sa kamay, ipapasa nyo, kukuha niyo ng teammate nyo, bawal po yan. That is considered violation. Next, we have to hinder an opponent of the opposite sex in throwing the ball. So again, uh, you must depend the same sex only. So, bawal pong depensan. It is a major violation in court ball if you depend the uh, opposite sex. So, men, men, women, women. And then at the same time, no, with your depending, hanggat maaari, uh, you don't change, no? You don't change uh, uh, depends hanggat maaari. You focus on one, you focus on your... Uh, on your attacker, hanggat maaari, isang attacker lang. Now, to play the to play the ball with leg or foot, bago, bawal pong itrap, no? So from from knee down to foot, is, it is considered violation. Lalo na pag tinrap mo, no? Yeah, not to touch or hold. Uh, you use your foot to, ano, to, to hold the ball. That is considered violation po. Bawal po yan. Kahit tumama lang po, below knee, down, Ang ganpot, that is considered violation. Now, to touch or hold the post, no? So, intentionally or unintentionally, you hold the post, that is considered violation. Bawal po yan. Bawal hawakan. Bawal kayong umikot-ikot doon, hawak niyo yung post, that is considered violation. Now, to passive play, uh, delaying the game, bawal din po yan. Pero, again, you have 25 seconds naman eh. You have 25 seconds to take the shot. Pero, if you're intentionally uh, delaying the game, no, you have the uh, chance to shoot, eh, hindi nyo pa ginagawa, tatawagan po ng, rap, ng referee yan. That is the uh, passive play. Now, to score from deep end zone of the attacking team or directly a throw off, out ball, restart, or pre-pass. Now, usually, uh, happens na um, pag lumabas ang bola sa sideline, doon po nagkakaroon ng restart. Pero you cannot take directly on that side. Bawal. Bawal po yan. Bawal po i-take doon. Okay? Bawal doon i-shoot. Restart. Ganon din po. Uh, throw up. Bawal diretsyong i-shoot. So there must be a pass. Next, to hinder, um, to hinder an opponent excessively whenever a player hinders opponent. O oh, yan, bawal pong uh, tapikin. Bawal kuwanin. Bawal uh, agawin sa kamay. Now, when is the time? No, when is the time to steal during the pass? During the pass po. Yun. Dun, that is the time to uh, steal the ball. Pero pag hawak ang bola, kahit ibigay ko sa kanya yan, oh, ito na yung bola, you cannot steal the ball on the attacker. You must pass the ball first. Now, to push, to cling, or hold the ball on the opponent, yan mga deliberate foul, to play in a dangerous manner, yan po yung bawal yan. Which result, Pag major violation in court ball, again, and there's a major violation, penalty po yan. Minor violation, restart. Okay? Now, minsan, pre-pass po ang nangyayari. Pag minor violation, pre-pass. Now, out ball, uh, boundary line, out of the field, outside the uh, field of play, or may tinamaan pong ceiling or object, that is out ball. Now, to exceed the allowed time limit for 
or, or the sound, you have 20 seconds. Uh, we have 25 seconds. Uh, you have 20 seconds to time limit to attack. Uh, types of sanction, we have the play on, whistles of restart, whistles of pre, uh, pre-pass, and whistles for a penalty. Uh, now, if you have questions later uh, with regards on this topic, no, uh, na lang po. I will, we will answer na lang your question because I, I think it's uh, 4 o'clock already. So uh, play on, restart. So where, where is the place of restart? Condition to take restarts. No? When the ball is brought into play, how to take the restart. Infringement during the take of the restarts. Same with the pre-pass and the penalty. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's all. Thank you, uh, Sir Rodrigo, Sir uh, who will be the next, Sir Robinson. Sir Robin. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, do you hear me? Okay. Now, uh, regarding the uh, uh, quotes, uh, Sir Lord, regarding the rules, so I will explain further regarding the hand signals because in a sports, if you do not know how the hand signals of the rhetoric, you cannot enjoy the game. Okay? So... I will discuss the hand signals of the level. I will share first. Okay, do you see my slide? Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is the referee's uh, signals of football. So the first one, we have the substitution of player. In a uh, football, this is the substitution of player, but in basketball, it's different. Okay. okay. The next we have the stopping time. This one. So yeah, this is the stopping time. Okay. Referee's lift, uh, lift the arms. is wearing and it's what? Stop time and stop time. Yun din. Ganon din ang signal. Okay. Next is the change zone. So in every two goals, either the okay, either the other team or the one team who shoot the ball, there is a change zone. So in, uh, in Tanga, uh, yung mga attackers, uh, yung shooter, attackers sa kabila, magiging, pagdating sa kabilang zone, magiging ano na sila, they will become the defenders. And the, defender, uh, the defenders on the other side, they will become the attackers. Then next, okay, so to touch the ball with the leg foot. So it means, okay, uh, below from me, okay, lalo na kung intentional yan, so tatawagan siya, it will be infringement. But if it's not intentional, kung maga tumama siya, pero hindi naman siya intentional, okay, then uh, play on. Okay, play on siya. Okay, next, okay. To hit the ball with the fist. Hello. So, bawal. Bawal siyang, okay. Siya pinasa yung bola. Okay. Then, hindi mo naabot. Okay. Bawal siyang sundukin. Okay. All you have to do is to touch the ball. Not to, okay, hit the ball with the fist. Okay. And next, to take hold of or touch the top of the ball when any part of the body other than the feet is touching the ground. So, kung ikaw naman ay napaupo, so hindi mo pwedeng itap ang bola, hindi mo rin siyang pwedeng kunin, unless na tatayo ka, tatayo ka to tap the ball or to touch the ball. So, kung nakahiga, napahiga ka at napunta yung bola sa'yo, so hindi mo siya pwedeng kunin o hindi mo siya pwedeng itap para ibigay doon sa, sa ano. So, ang kukuha talaga nun, yung naka, nakatayo talaga siya. Okay. Then, next, to run with the ball. Okay, in basketball, we call it running in, uh, we call it traveling. But to run with the ball, ito ang senyas niya. Ito. This is the senyas in football to run. Okay, two step. Okay, but three step or more, it is to run with the ball. Tatawagan na siya. Okay. Then next, okay, as mentioned as solo play. Okay, yun yung solo play na pinata. Ito ang senyas ng solo play. That is the solo play. 
Okay. The next, delay of the game of the passive. Okay, delay of the game. Ayan. So, tatawagan yung player ng delay of the game. Paano nangyayari ang delay of the game? Kung hawak niyo yung bola, for example, out of ball, ilalabas, nasa labas ang bola, okay, wala naman nagbabantay sa kanya. Walang nagbabantay sa kanya. Pero hawak niya pa rin ang bola, then, pwede siyang tawagan na ng delay of the game. Okay. Next. Okay. To hand the ball to another player's own team. This is the hand signal. This is the hand signal. So, bawal. So, dapat i-release ang bola. As uh, Sir Rod say, i-release ang bola bago po ni ng uh, teammate yung ball. Okay. Uh, next. Okay, to knock, to take or run the ball out of the opponent. So, yun nga, hindi pwedeng agawin yung bola. This is the hand signal. Okay, hand signal. This one. Okay. And next, to push, to cling, to hold up of the opponent. Okay, pushing. Bawal. Okay, bawal yan. Bawal itulak yung player. Kasi, uh, court ball is a gentleman's game. Then next, okay, to push or to cling or hold up of the opponent. So, bawal to. Bawal mong kalangin ko. Nasa likod yung uh, attacker at defender, uh, depend, uh, nasa defense zone ka, defender ka, hindi mo siya pwedeng harangin. Kailangan, free siyang makatakbo. So, hindi siya pwedeng nakahawak na. In basketball, pwede to. But in court ball, Okay, infringement yan, violation yan. So, kayaan mo lang na tumakbo yung uh, binabantayan mo din. Susundan mo lang siya kung siya sa pupunta. Kung baga, in court ball, this is a man-to-man -man defense. Kung baga. Okay. okay, next. To hinder opponent or blocking the arm. Okay, may bola. Okay, asa. Pero, okay, yung binabantayan mo na attacker, Pinahalang mo yung kamay niya. So, binablock mo yung kamay niya. So, that is infringement. Bawal yun. Okay. Bawal i-block yung kamay nung uh, papasahan ng bola. Okay. And next. Okay. Bawal din niya kapin. Kumbaga. So, hindi mo siya pwedeng ikulong. Ayaan mo lang siyang dapat makbo yung attacker. Then, susundan mo lang as a defender. Kung siya siya pupunta. And next, okay, to hindi the opponent excessively, okay, so ito yung, okay, yung kumbaga talagang sinadya mo, intentional na sinadya mo, either intentional o hindi, basta na ano mo yung attacker, that is, okay, infringement or violation. Okay, to play outside one zone, yan ang senyas na, okay. Outball, tawagin siya. Okay. Then, to shoot from a defended position. This one. So, kapag ang attacker, okay, nalapitan siya ng defender, at doon sa torso niya mismo, sa torso niya nakaganan, hindi siya pwedeng mag-shoot. He need to pass the ball to his teammate to shoot the ball. So, hindi, siya, hindi mo pwedeng shoot. Pag sin, uh, tinry mong i-shoot dyan at binlock mo siya, okay, binlock mo siya, that is dependent. Basta once na yung uh, defender, nakagano na doon sa attack and nahawak yung bola, hindi na siya pwedeng mag-shoot. Either i-pass na yung bola. Okay. Uh, next, okay. To shoot after the cutting, this is the, okay, pass another attack and This is cutting. In basketball, okay yan. Okay? Hindi, ano yan, violation. Illegal yan. But in uh, court ball, this is illegal cutting. Okay? Kumbaga, okay? Ayan, uh, ayan yung player. Ito yung assist. Ibibigay sa'yo. Tapos, i-dedicate niya yung, uh, yung mantay niya to sa player. Tapos, cutting siya. Okay? Alpas sa kagat. Alabas siya. Okay? So, it means that dapat yung defender libre din siyang 
mabantayan ka. Kailangan mabantayan ka rin. So hindi siya pwedeng idikit doon sa uh, teammate mo. Tapos kakat ka. That is a infringement or violation. Okay, then next, okay, to play in dangerous manner. Ayan. Okay, kumbaga, okay. And, uh, word ball, halong yung bola. Okay. Binato mo yung kalaban. Okay. Binato mo yung, yung nagbabantay sa'yo. Okay, that is play in dangerous manner. Automatic yan, penalty shot. Doon sa, ah, uh, Uh, depending team na magiging open play, open team. Okay. Then, there are two kinds of, uh, okay, holding the post. The first one, to influence a shot by the moving of the post. Ito yung violation ng defender. Ito ang violation ng defender. Once you shoot the ball, hindi mo kailangan okay, hawakan ng post at galawin. Okay, so that is for the defender. And for the uh, attacker, okay, this is for the attacker to take hold up of the post when jumping, running, or in order to move away with me. So, binabantayan ka, tight guarding ka. So, hindi ka pwedeng humawak yan to take advantage at tigla kang attack. Bawal din. Bawal hawakan yan. Unless na hindi mo intentional at gumagalaw yan kahit iso, so, bawal. Pero pag intentional ang ginawa mo, Infringement siya. Okay. So, but, uh, that V6R is for the uh, defender, okay, the defense, and for the attacker is that V.6S. Okay. Next, okay, the referee throw up. Okay, the referee throw up. Once the ball start, it should be at the center, not on the side, on the side. As a side, doon sa attack zone na siya. Next. Okay, restart. So this is the restart. Kung so, saan nangyari yung bali, uh, uh, infringement or violation, same in football, kung so, saan nangyari, doon nila nire restart sa loob. Hindi nila nilalabas. As, uh, unlike in basketball, once may violation, out, nilalabas na. But here, in football, once the uh, infringement ang nangyari sa loob o yung violation nangyari sa loob, doon kung saan nangyari, doon lang ituturo, doon magsisimula na rin. Ay yung direction of play, ituturo ng weapon. Okay. So, in basketball, there are five seconds. In courtball, it's only four seconds. Okay? Four seconds rule. So, tatawagan ka na four seconds. Hindi lang ako, 1,001, 1,002. 1,003. Pag hindi mo pa naibigay yung bola doon sa teammate mo at sumagay ka ng 4 seconds so patawagan ka na rin 4 seconds. Okay. Free pass. So this is the free pass. Okay. Kung saan? Okay. Free pass ibig sabihin yung mga player dapat yung magkakampi ang layo nila ay 2.5 Meters. So, hindi sila pwedeng magtikit. So, dapat yan ang layo. Same din yung uh, uh, defender and attacker. Magkakalayo sila. Salit-salit sila. So, hindi sila pwedeng magtikit. Okay. So, that is the free pass. Okay. Yan ang serious ng free pass. Okay. So, that is the free pass. Tuturo kung saan. On the penalty spot. Tuturo niya. Okay. Okay, penalty spot. Yan, ituturo doon sa direct. Tuturo niya penalty spot. Minsan, ang referee, pag tinuro niya penalty spot, tuturo niya rin yung goal. Ibig sabihin, okay, you can shoot the ball on the penalty spot. Okay, repeat infringement considered as penalty shot. Pag naulit. Okay, kahit ibang team, uh, for example, Uh, yung isang, uh, isang player nakakamit ng uh, uh, na, nakaano siya naka uh, nagawa niya ng bola for example in, inagawa niya ng bola pinapit niya yung bola okay so that is free pass 
Pag naulit uli yung ganun situation, dinano uli yung bola, inagaw uli na nasa kamay pa. At isa time, tinatawag na repeat infringement, penalty na siya. And next. Okay, shot clock. So this is the shot clock. Uh, on the shot clock, uh, ang shot clock kasi, tatakbo lang ang shot clock kapag ang bola from the defense, okay, naagaw, pag naagaw from the defense, nakuha sa rebound, nakuha na ng defense, so hindi pa tatakbo yung 25 seconds shot clock. Ibig sabihin nun, pag ang bola, napunta na doon sa teammate na doon sa attack zone, that is the time na tatakbo pa lang yung 25 seconds. So within 25 seconds, hindi nila nasit ang bola, automatic. Okay. Sa kabila yung uh, bola. Okay. okay. Next. Okay. Then the direction of play. Sa so, pasan ng direction ng play, yan. Ituro lang ng report. Okay, then advantage, tuturo lang ng referee, kung saan ang play. Okay. okay, so that is my reference sa court board. Yan po yung aking reference. Okay, makikita nyo naman po yan sa IPF rules. Okay, hand signals. And maraming salamat po. Thank you po for this. Okay, maraming pong salamat. All right, thank you sir. Robinson for uh, uh, sharing. At this point, I think the members of the national team will be sharing regarding their experience. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, we will be presenting more of our experience, uh, the different tournaments we attended to. And as well as the actual um, actual shots we made from our games. So first is the long distance shot. These are shots actually um, taken a little bit further, suppose, like the one in the picture and uh, for the video. Okay, this is an actual game versus Netherlands that happened on uh, November 2019. As you can see, the, the ball is from the other side. There. There. That's an example of a distant shot. And another example also from the same competition. This one. There. Next. As you can see, uh, most of the positions actually, there's the one in the middle, uh, that would be the assist, and the other four would be the one to pass around the ball. Okay, next video, please. Uh, this tournament is um, in Japan. It's played by professors and some students in 2018. You, you, the the player, the shooting player would opt to find the, the the most available player to pass on the ball to um to do to to shoot. Um, one shot is called so called running in. As you can see, uh, this is more near. Suppose like the assist is in the middle and the one shooting is almost at the bottom of the post. Like also this on the other hit. Uh, example of the video, example of the shot.
Hi, so I'm EG and one of the players. So now we can see na we're playing against China. This is 2019 Corf World Cup, four on four, and we won this match. The next video is the same match po. So nung competition pong to, uh, two events siya, isang 4 on 4 one curve and 4 on 4 two curves. And dun sa four, sa one curve po, nanalo po tayo ng third place and dun sa two curves, fourth place. So, free pass. So, this is done when the defending team uh, nakapag-violate. Nakapag -violate po. So, in basketball, it's like free throw shot po. So as we've seen sa video po, na nag nag take siya ng shot as after niyang makapag free pass, uh, her start na ulit yung game, pwede niya nang i-rebound and pwede nang ituloy yung laro. Then, rebound. And the defense. So, in defending your opponent po, uh, need, po, need lang po natin i yung hand natin and na dapat one meter apart lang para ma matawagan ng defended yung kalaban. So, if one meter apart and nakataas yung kamay natin, uh, bawal mag-take ng shot yung kalaban. Penalty shot. So, penalty shot, siya yung uh, ayun po. Meron ba pe present si, sorry, pe So, 4 on 4 overtime. So, na-discuss po kanina na kapag kapag tayo yung game, magkakakaan ng 10 minutes and yung first team na, kapag, na makapag goal is yung mananalo. So, yung kanina, yung golden, golden ball. So makita po natin dito yung winning shot po ng Team Philippines against China noong 2019. Yan po. So, the next are the pictures sa experiences po. So, Chad. Chad, can you turn on your audio? Yeah, yeah there Hello. you go. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you now. Hello po, hello Sir JR, and hello to all the viewers. So, I'm Chad po. So, my best experience was traveling and representing our country as a national athlete. And during the match in Netherlands, uh, so, as you can see po sa mga pictures is, yung opponents po namin were like six-footers, talagang matatangkad po talaga. Pero, alam naman po natin tayo, mga Pinoy, eh, uh, medyo napagkaitan po ng height. Pero, I believe that korfball is not about how tall you are. Kasi korfball is about how fast, uh, quick, uh, sneaky, and sa discarte po talaga siya kung paano mo mailalaro yung, yung korfball. So, uh, as you can see in the picture po, uh, that's our coach. 
sa sa Netherlands po yung pictures na yan. So, ayan po. Next slide, please. Iggy. Ayan. So, here po, yung nakuha po ni Iggy yung player of the game. And yung sa lower left po, makikita na, na, natin dyan yung kalaban po namin is talagang pure matatangkad po talaga sila. There you go. So, to all the viewers, join us and learn about one of the fastest and growing sports and develop your skills in a friendly, fun environment. Thank you po. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Right. Next is Miss uh, Paula Carmina. All right. Thank you so much uh, to our uh, national uh, athletes, to uh, our team captain, uh, Bridget, and to our athletes, uh, Iggy and Chad. Okay. So, Good afternoon, Sir JR. Good afternoon, One Piece Head Community, and welcome to the Philippine Corf Ball Federation. All right. So uh, let me present to you the mission and vision of the Philippine Corf Ball Federation and our vision through the values of passion uh, to sh sharing our passion for the sport by providing an avenue for young athletes to discover sports potential, talent, and skills through organizing prestigious tournaments, clinics, and competitions. All right? Oh, wait lang po. Fair play to inculcate uh, the good sportsmanship in the minds of the young athlete and behave in a sportman-like manner on and off the court. And our mission is uh, the Philippine Curveball Federation shall provide excellence in managing sports event and competition, designing and implementing systematic sports development program. And the PKF commits to help raise the standard of sport, particularly in the public schools and state universities in the country by bringing in the best local and international coaches through free clinics, trainings, and workshop organized by the Federation. Our objectives is to encourage promote and develop korfball at all levels throughout the country and the PKF shall comply with the statutes, regulations, bylaws, and playing rules of the IKF and the IKF anti-doping rules and the resolution of each of the bodies of the IKF or International Fourth Ball Federation. Maraming salamat po. And uh, now let's have our uh, development program, uh, Coach Aging Rubio, Coach Aging. Good afternoon. So good afternoon, uh, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity, organizers. Um, this is a great um, opportunity for us to share football in uh, corf ball in the country. So let me share my screen. Take them for a while. So I'll be I'll be presenting the Philippine Corfball project. So let me start with the demonstration on workshops. Wait lang. Nag For a while. Nagkagulo. Sorry po. Okay lang, Coach. Go lang. Makikita. Okay, so, ayan, nakikita niyo na po ba yung screen ko? Yes, coach. You just, uh, ayan. yeah. 
I just need to slideshow. Yeah. Ayan. So, ayan, nakikita na po. Okay, yes. so good afternoon once again, everyone. Um, thank you. Thank you, organizer Sir JR, for having us. And um, it's a great opportunity for us to share football in different various, uh, in various uh, areas in the country. So, uh, I'll be talking about the corfball projects that we have. Uh, in the Federation. So let me start with the demonstration and workshop. It is a series of workshop. We uh, call this the descending approach. Why? Because we start. We decided to start the promoting curve ball in the collegiate level. Uh, ang reason po dito is we want to show dun sa mga youth level na merong naglalaro na ex existing na yung sports at may nakikita na silang naglalaro na mga adults para may encourage sila to play the game. Kasi uh, after analyzing dun sa, sa um, promoting the sport in the grassroots level tapos uh, nagtuturo kami sa grassroots level tapos wala silang makikita sa college na naglalaro or mga malalaki na sa open category so mawawalan din sila ng gana. So that is why we decided to have a descending up approach. And also to follow it up sa demonstration and workshop, we have uh, we aim to have a club and school-based teams. Okay, so yun yung uh, ini-encourage din namin na after the workshop, mag-put mag up ang mga schools na pinupuntahan namin ng sarili nilang club or school-based teams. Okay. Bakit? It's because uh, we also want to have a, a pool of players para doon kami magkaroon ng selection for national team to, to represent the Philippines, the Philippines in international tournaments. Ayan. So, and then afterwards, after ng mga workshops na ginagawa namin, we, we want to have a local competition organized, of course, by the Philippine Corfball Federation. So we have... We had from the University of Santo Tomas. So doon kami nagkakaroon ng mga tournaments. And we are planning to have a local tournaments sa different areas in Visayas or in Mindanao. So, ayan. And then, we are, we are also, the Philippine Corfball Federation is aiming to have a collaboration and partnership with the DepEd. So, be slowly moving towards the grassroots level. Okay, so it, uh, like I said earlier, sobrang laking opportunity sa Philippine Corf Ball to talk to the FISED community. It's because um, a lot of them are teaching in in the government school or in the DepEd. Ayan. And then, okay, so moving forward, uh, after having those workshop demonstration and workshop and selecting players to represent the the Philippines in the international competition, we also want to to upgrade uh, our coaches. So we uh, we will be having a licensing seminar, so local and international. So uh, everyone is invited. So. Merong projects, uh, yung mga Asian countries, they send us invitations. Pwede tayong sumali doon. Those who are interested, you can contact us and uh, sabihin nyo lang na you're interested to join and then we can talk about the process of going there or attending a seminar for corkball coaching and officiating. Ayan. And then accessibility of the equipment. Uh, we are trying to to create our own equipment, it's because uh, mostly the equipment that we are using at the moment come from uh, in sa Europe and Asian countries. So, uh, donated siya or binili siya ng Philippine Corf Ball. So, ngayon, uh, tinatry natin mag-create locally. So, uh, meron na kaming tinatry na na ipakita so siguro um sa next next time or pwede na namin ipakita yung picture na yun 
sa ngayon, yun yung uh, ini-encourage din namin yung mga lugar na merong uh, pwede, kasi if you can see sa picture, ang dali lang niyang gayahin. So we can create an equipment good for training lang. So but for the competition, we will use the standard equipment. So yun yung ini-encourage natin sa lahat ng uh, ng willing or gustong maglaro ng court ball. Ayan. And then, uh, at the moment, we are also eyeing to be part of the National Sports Association. So, we are a recognized member in the International Corfball Federation. But here in the Philippines, um, we are on the process of applying to be part of the NSA. Ayan. And then, uh, of course, we will continue dun sa nasimulang program na we we joined international competition. So, um, currently, ang nare-represent lang natin sa open category. But sa, sa grassroots level, wala pa tayo. So, we are really pushing or we are encouraging the, the members of the association to to extend their help and support in promoting corfball in the grassroots level para magkaroon tayo ng representative pagdating sa mga grassroots um, competitions. Ayan. So, ayan yung pwede yung screenshot yung kung paano nyo kami contact. Ayan. So, pwede yan. And uh, I'd like to add lang since uh, visit community, maraming teachers, future teachers, maraming athletes and coaches we are willing also to to have a corf ball uh corf ball uh we we want to have a corf ball uh seminar workshop virtually so parang uh parang magtuturo kami sa, sa zoom parang nagklase lang kami like what they did sir rod sir laksa so parang magkaroon ng mas mas ma, mas close mas deeper na discussion regarding the sport. So, contact us lang anytime, message us. So, thank you very much. Thank you for for everyone who is here. All right. Thank you, Coach Ajing K. And of course, kitang-kita naman natin mga uh, at sa ating mga taga-subaybay via YouTube, mga PE teachers, future PE teachers, or mga uh, wala man in the field of education. Nakita po natin, we have uh, almost 170 viewers via YouTube no? kanina. So I think uh, many of them are really interested with this sport. Alam naman natin that Philippines is a basketball nation and ang daming mga comment na nakita natin sa YouTube no na there are similarities of bas uh, same as basketball with the combination of uh, ultimate frisbee so alam natin na itong sport na to is something that students that youth can also like and natutuwa tayo at lubos-lubos po tayo nagpapasalamat sa Philippine Corpball Federation for devoting their afternoon kasi yung ginawa po nila is almost already a parang uh, more than an introduction because of the content they delivered to us. And of course, dahil po yan, gusto ng P, uh, Philippine Corpball Federation na maging kabahagi ang maraming guro sa Pilipinas ng kanilang mission upang mapalaganap ang sports. Kaya po, maraming maraming salamat. At bago po tayo uh, pumunta sa... Uh, bago tayo magtapos sa ating uh, programa for this afternoon, kung meron po tayong mga katanungan, ito po ay pagkakataon na habang nandito pa po ang, NS, ang ating Philippine Corfball Federation para directly masagot nila ang inyong katanungan. You can post your uh, questions sa ating YouTube live po. Ayan po, nagaantay po tayo. At uh, syempre, para din ma, ma tumaba at, at, at masayahan ang ating mga uh, invited uh, speakers para sa hapon na to. So ko lang sabihin ng ating mga participants po ay napaka-diverse. No? Meron po tayo uh, student pa lang like Sir Abraham Sapa na talagang uh, he's highly interested on how to, you know, to further learn the sport. Meron din tayo si Miss Margarita Itoriano from uh, Camarines Sur, Miss Gerlin Nolasco from Polangi Albay, Ronaldo Gasho from Isabela State University. Meron din tayo from Tagig Sir Roel Tagilid. From San Fernando, La Union, Ms. Percy Sakyafen, uh, Sir Nino Santos from Santa Maria, Bulacan, 
and Sir Jay Gamboa from Sambales. So, and also, Mr. Longo, all the way from Mindanao, Iligan City, magandang hapon. Ayan po, napakarami ng ating nanood na sa episode, not the usual number of attendees. And I think uh, most of, uh, of our participants devoted their time just to learn something about korfball. Um, habang nag-aantay po tayo ng mga tanong, I think tumulong na rin si... Uh, si Coach Ching kanina no, to answer yung uh, sa ating YouTube live kasi may mga ilang mga technical matters na nagtatanong doon, no? technical question, nasagot naman. But um, uh, ha, as, 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 as a National Sports Association or tayo bilang nag apply na uh, National Sports Association, um, sir, do you think after this pandemic, what's the biggest thing that Philippine uh, Corfball Federation will do para sa pag-progress pa ng sport? Um, uh, after this pandemic, we're planning kasi talaga na to be uh, recognized by the as an NSA, no? NSA, so, NSA. Um, so POC, no? So we are we are asking for the support. Then, baka meron po yung uh, closely related uh, related sa POC na makatulong po sa amin. may pwede kami ma-advise para mailapit po natin mailapit po namin ang PKF actually for uh, we have two uh, ano uh, two two webinar na rin uh, yung sports lockdown and uh, yung mga nag-invite din sa amin they are willing to help us na maipasok ang ang PKF sa sa POC no sa POC para ma-recognize sila as an NSA that's the next step after pandemic or Uh, Coach Aging, you have any word to say about that yes, project? Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, with regards to the project after pandemic, of course, we will continue the demonstration and workshop. So any schools who are interested mm -hmm. to, to or willing to accommodate us, we are willing also to come over and uh, have a demonstration and workshop in their areas. So pag-uusapan lang natin yan. And then at the same time, uh, we are also looking for a an area where we can have, a, where we can call it parang home ng korfball. So yun mm. yung inisip namin na magkaroon ng home ng korfball. At the moment, University of Santo Tomas is the home of korfball in the Philippines. But in the, for future uh, plans, mag, sana magkaroon tayo ng different uh, korfball areas sa, sa iba-ibang region. So, pero nagsisimula po 'yan sa pag-accommodate ng mga schools and mm -hmm. LDU sa amin. Ayan po. Yes, and uh, isa sa pinaka na-appreciate ko uh, president no uh, is that ito yung uh, episode na kung saan halos buong uh, uh, board member ng federation at mga na national team ay nandito. It looks yeah. like talaga na may kita natin mga fellow PE teachers na solid ang uh, Philippine Corfball Federation. And again, if you are looking for professional growth, like what they said, meron po tayo mga coaching course, mga refereeing course na padating. Kailangan po yan sa paglago ng, uh, ng sport na to sa ating bansa. Ikaw, P teacher na nandyan, if wala ka pang mga professional organization na nasasamahan, who knows that floor, uh, sorry, Philippine Corfball Federation will be the one that can uh, help you. No, para din, of course, meron tayong mga professional organization na masasalihan. And kita natin sa ginawang presentation ng, uh, ng ating federation na kung saan talagang they are willing. It's just you, PE teacher, na kailangan nila. Hindi man PE teacher, future PE teacher. May mga ilan tayo talaga na mga studyante palang active na. So malamang pwede po natin gawing opportunity to. Uh, para tayo maging involved sa Philippine Corfball Federation. Um, last na lang po, uh, meron po ba tayong mga, uh, sir, you wanna promote, sir, uh, like the page of Philippine Corfball para um, malike din po ng ating mga taga-subaybay? As, um... Any promotion, sir, na upcoming or let's say, uh, siguro eh, like nila yung page no, ng Philippine uh, um, um, Paola, pwede, Corfball pwede, pwede, Federation? Yeah. Hello po. Yes, Miss yes. Paula, we can hear you. Alright, good afternoon everyone. So again, we welcome you to the Philippine Corfball Federation. Uh, if you have some inquiries, just 
go to our uh, Philippine Corfball uh, Facebook page. And uh, right after po, uh, usually po yung mga inquiries po is uh, more on the soft copy and uh, all. Uh, after po ng session po natin today, ayan, uh, we will create also a face, uh, Facebook group para po doon po tayo makapag-updates uh, ng mga documents, ng mga presentation na pwede po namin i-share sa inyo uh, through Corfball. Uh, gagawa po tayo ng isang Corfball community. Ayan. Yeah. Maraming salamat po. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Paula. No? Kasi yan ang inahanap ng mga participant after talaga ng mga episode namin. How can they further reach? So again po, no, meron pong kikreate na group. no. Siguro pwede ko, dahil nasa akin naman po mga email na, na, na mga participants natin, ipapasa ko po to kay Sir Rodrigo para may leads po na makuha ang PKF para ma-reach out din ang ating mga participants. And also, meron po tayo dito, no? Buong sa, uh, meron po tayong mga feedback dito, solid sa Mbuanga, no? Uh, to support Philippine Corfball Federation. And ayan po, na they're look, really looking forward for activities where they can be involved. Kasi very exciting naman. And ako personally, uh, sa Lasal, uh, I think magandang, kasi ako ay ma fan of new sport, non-mainstream sports. And I think this is a perfect opportunity. Uh, lalo na your having a plan to build up youth teams. Makakatulong po ang mga basic education dyan, katulad ng school namin. All right. Sir JR, uh, baka yung taga Sambuanga po, uh, kakilala po namin. Sir Mike, baka kakilala mo yan, Sir Mike. Yun, sila ma'am M yun, M. Michelle. Uh, actually, nag sa akin siya, nag-message nag, nag, uh, nag sa akin siya at congratulating us. Uh, and I told him na uh, you were part of my presentation and he was, she was thankful. The whole school actually was thankful for uh, giving the opportunity to be uh, known. Yes. And of course po, kung meron pa po tayo uh, from the PKF na gusto mga i-announce soon, welcome po ang One Fiseda. Uh, welcome po yan sa onefiseda.ph para ma marami din pong mas makalam. Uh, uh, Sir JR, can we ano, uh, say something about ano, sure, sure, sir. an acknowledgement? No? So, uh, we'd like to thank Father Constancio, our directors uh, and regents of athletics, uh, and Dr. Jerome Porto. Uh, Ma'am Hilda Camus and Ma'am Pauline Gabayan for uh, continuing uh, supporting uh, PKF po. Ayan. And then, uh, syempre, we have the uh, uh, president of IKF president, John Franco, IKF Asia president, English Wang, and uh, Warren Man Cheng, Hong Kong China Corporal Association president. Thank you, thank you very much for all the support you have given sa PKF. Sir Mike, Mara. you have a question uh, those who'd like to play team sports without any physical contact, Corfball is for you. And I'll take this opportunity to thank One Piece Ed for having us uh, because wide ang inyong audience, especially mga PE teachers. So it's, thank you for this opportunity to show them what Corfball is all about. And like also thank University of Santo Tomas for accommodating the PKF in their premises. Thank you. Sir Robin? Sir? Uh, thank you very much for the one percent for uh, inviting us for this uh, wonderful webinar series and I hope this is not with the last okay. in the coming years more on detailed detailed, detailed seminar uh, webinar okay, regarding this and thank you okay, and, uh, for the UST I thank the UST especially our uh, administration okay giving us time for this and also for uh, continuous support on the Philippine Corporal Federation. Thank you. And for the most of especially this, this is our, uh, our opportunity for the, to uh, relay the corporal in the Philippines, not only the Philippines but in other countries. Okay. Hopefully, ito na yung start. Ito dito na magsisimula. Okay, so yung mga, okay, mga future teachers, okay, napakadali lang ng laro na ito. At dito walang sakitan talaga. More on gentleman's dream ang portfolio. At napakadali rin matutunan. Okay. Thank you again. Okay. Lastly, athletes, yan. Bridget, Iggy, and Chad, you have something to say? 
Um, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, thank you, Din PC Ed, for the opportunity to spread the word about corkball. It's such a great opportunity for us. And thank you as well to our coaches who are not here, like um, Mam Mayra and Mam Bane, for um, coaching us throughout the years. Um, to my teammates was all who has always been so supportive and um and to our families as well. Um, come join us. It's fun here. Iggy, Iggy, Chad, Go, Chad. Go, Iggy. Ah, sige. Uh, po sa One Piece for uh, sa pag sa pag present sa amin dito. And uh, we thank the coaches and the 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 staff po, Lord. The staff po. And binabati ko yung mga teammates ko. <laughs> Wait lang, last na one. Binabati ko si Nick Nick kapis tsaka ano, si Rebo Madrigal, si Kent Bagnag, si Chelsea Ahos. Teammates and friends po. Yun lang. Chad? Uh, thank you, Sir JR. Uh, sa lahat po na bumubuo ng fis- uh, one fisted po, thank you so much for this opportunity po. And to all the viewers, uh, again po, it's not It's not about how tall you are. It's about how quick. Uh, discard lang po sa curveball. Try nyo na po. Very fun po talaga and exciting. And yun po. Thank you po. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Sir JR. And thank uh, you for the piece. Uh, sh- thank thank you. you po pala sa mga coaches ko po. Kaila Sir Robin, Coach Aging, Ma'am, Ka- Ma'am Pao, Sir Rod. Sa lahat din po bumubuo ng Philippine Curveball Federation. Uh, bigyan oh, po natin sila ng ano. Thank you. Nakakataba ng puso, syempre, mapagpasalamat yung mga athletes sa mga tao, sa mga coaches na tumutulong sa kanila. Because the sport is only medium no, to develop the character of an individual. Kaya, and of course, hindi po natin kakalimutan, i-grab na natin yung opportunity na is po nating batiin ng Happy Women's Month ang lahat ng ating uh, mga kababayan, mabuhay po kayo. Isang patunay to ng mga atleta nating na babae na nandito at mga leaders ng organization na ang babae ay may mahalagang role sa ating lipunan at sila ay gumagawa ng mga bagay na makakatulong sa kanilang kapwa. Mabuhay po ang ating mga kababaihan at sa ating mga nanunood sa YouTube live natin, mabuhay po kayong lahat. At this point, may I request Coach Joshua to please uh, uh, show our humble certificate for PKF. Um, walang aking partner, kaya ako na magbabasa. The certificate of appreciation is awarded to Philippine Corporal Federation for generally sh- sharing as resource organization during the OneFacet.ph Sports Series webinar with the title Spread Corporal Around the Globe via OneFacet YouTube channel in Zoom awarded this 13th of March 2021. Signed, yours truly, Coach J.R. Biterbo, founder of OneFacet.ph. Muli sa lahat po ng mga nakatune in, yan, 100 plus para 160. Palakpakan naman po tayo para sa PKF. Ito po'y isang... Uh, effort na ginagawa nila na wala mang kapalit no pero ginagawa nila dahil mahal nila ang sports na ito at siyempre gusto nila na i-offer at mabigyan ng opportunity ang mga uh, individual na siyempre gusto sino ba namang hindi gusto maging national team soon di ba malaki ang opportunity pwede pa tayo kahit may medyo maedad na parang pwede pa rin talaga dito sa corkball maglaro kaya saludo ang onefiset.ph sa Philippine Corkball Federation sa inyong adbokasya at kami po ay inyong kasama at katulong sa pag-promote ng sport na to now this is not a last but only the beginning of the growth of Corfball for the coming years. Muli po, ito na naman ay isang Sabado na puno ng karunungan, opportunity at higit sa lahat uh, tim- uh, nabigyan na naman po tayo ng pagkakataon na makilala ang isang sport na bago dito sa Pilipinas. Hopefully, mga kapwa huguro na ito ay opportunity para, para sa inyo. Kaya po again, reach, na po, reach out na po sa Philippine Corfball Federation and they're very much willing para tulungan po kayo. Again, this is Coach JR of OneFisted.com PH saying to everyone let's break the limits and let's go beyond happy saturday everyone god bless and stay safe thank you 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 guys salamat thank you po salamat sa lahat thank you po salamat po salamat